Hi guys, Luke Puck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the 84 rated Ultimate Scream Laxal, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, the uh, former AC Milan player. Uh, I was able to pick him up, uh, I was able to pick up his card for 74,000 coins which at the time I thought was a great deal. How wrong I was with that though. In the uh, four games that I played him with, he scored me three goals and didn't get me any assists. He's also got a three star weak force as well as four star skill moves. Moving along to his game stance, his main standout stats are going to be his 97 shot power, his 8 his 87 agility, his 89 short passing, and finally his 89 positioning. And he did also have the marks from Kemstar applied to this Laxo card. So hopefully, guys, tomorrow as well, I should come out with an even bigger review in terms of one of the bigger players released from this batch of Ultimate Screen cards. I'm not reviewing Drax, that I'm not putting. 200,000 coins into an SPC for a card that I'll do a review for four games and never use again. I'm sorry guys, I'm just, I'm not doing that. Hopefully you do understand with that. Um, but I thought that I kind of just review the smaller cards today so that I don't risk losing that many coins. I still lost 60,000 coins between Medel and Laxalt, which was uh, really annoying, but um, yeah, at least I was able to pack a cooler ball in one of the SPC packs, which uh, softens the blow slightly. But um, this Laxo card, I'm a little bit disappointed in him. Listen, don't get me wrong, I thought he was... He, he's okay. You know, three goals, four games, not a bad return. Uh, and to be fair, two of the goals that he scored were really, really good finishes. I think on his left foot, he is pretty decent. The right foot, um, I thought he was pretty useless with for the most part. But... Um, Listen, we'll talk about the, the the parts of the card that I did like. First of all, his actual first pro is actually going to be his dribbling. Now, his dribbling stats don't really look that good. I mean, yes, he's got 87 agility, but apart from that, his other dribbling stats look very, very average for a uh, for an attacker. I mean, uh, 78 balance not the best. Poor reactions. His reactions go up to 76, which still even aren't great themselves with the maximum camera style. His dribbling goes to 81. His ball control goes to 83. And to be fair, in game, I thought his dribbling was actually one of his best assets to his card, actually. Despite them maybe not looking the best, it was that agility that made a big difference. Difference. His ball control obviously becomes a lot better with the maximum cam style. So in game, obviously, it did feel a lot better, and um, you know, it allowed him to get forward, it allowed him to get into good opportunities to, to have shots on goal, to make passes, whatever. So yeah, dribbling wise, I actually was a big fan of that uh, part of the card. A second pro as well will also actually be his finishing. Of course, his finishing was pretty awesome. Um, 89 positioning that goes up to 92. His finishing goes up to 85. His shot power goes to 99. Even his long shots as well go into the mid 90s, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, he was pretty good in his left foot. So have to say so that, that was another part of the card that I did have to put down some of his strikes were very very good if not the goalkeeper was always making good saves and stuff so finishing wise I was happy with that and that's it to be quite honest um strength wise not the best but you never really should expect a Mason Trent for a winger. Passing wise, he's got fantastic passes. That's also really good crossing. I thought his crossing was okay, actually. To be fair, his crossing would always go into dangerous areas or would even meet like um, teammates' headers. But obviously, headers are so hard to be able to to you know do right in this FIFA that a lot of the time they just head the ball over the bar or whatever. But he's also got really good short pass, uh, really good short passing and long passing. His short passing was good to be able to link up with other players, but it was never able to get an assist for many of the um, for many of the games that I played him with. Unfortunately, in terms of pace wise. He, he is quick, don't get me wrong, but he doesn't feel as quick as 90 pace in my opinion. He was like maybe mid 80s or something, don't get me wrong, he can outpace quite a few players, but sometimes his you know, his pace wasn't that great and just didn't feel like he quite had 90 pace, but it's still, it's not bad enough to put it down as a major issue to the card or anything like that, it's just, I don't think he was quite as quick as 90 pace, but on the whole, would I recommend buying this card? Well, I, I picked him up for 74,000 coins, I wouldn't recommend him for that price, he has since gone down to around 50,000 coins, I think he will go a little bit lower in value. I think this card will probably go down to around about 30,000 coins, judging by how, like, some of the prices, for example, like an 89 rate to Kula Bali, arguably maybe the best gold Serie A defender, goes for, like, 28,000 coins. Trust me, a guy from, Tur well, no offense to any Torino fans watching, you know, they're, they're, they're a decent team, um, but th th there's no way a Uruguayan playing for Torino on the left-hand side who's got, you know, uh, some of the stats that he has got because some of his stats aren't necessarily that great. Don't get me wrong, he's not a bad player. I think he's decent, but he'll go down to like 30,000 coins. The, 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 he just he simply will. I know for a fact he will. Maybe even by tonight he might be down to like 40,000 coins and he will continue to go lower than that in my opinion. So I think if you're thinking of buying him, hold off like maybe another 24 hours because he he certainly won't increase in price. There's no doubt about that. But um, I, I think that, if I think he's probably going to go a little bit cheaper. So on the whole, I think you could maybe get him for like 35,000 coins, something like that. I think he'd be a decent buy, but um, for 75000 I wouldn't really recommend him for that. I think um, he, he wouldn't represent great value for that price. Don't get me wrong, I think he's an okay card. He's just, he's not amazing at the same time. I think some of his stats do, um, do let him down. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.